In this episode of Cobb TV, we are talking about the drumming style of Mo Tucker from The Velvet Underground. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, Mo Tucker's first influences on the drum kit were Ringo Starr and Charlie Watts. She would play along to their records in her bedroom, and eventually the band The Velvet Underground needed a new drummer. So Lou Reed went over to Mo Tucker's house and listened to her play, liked what he heard, and she became a very big part of their sound. Now Velvet Underground, they're one of the most influential bands of the 60s, and their influence can be heard throughout the years in bands like Sonic Youth, The White Stripes, The Strokes, and even Cliff Burton from Metallica is heavily influenced by The Velvet Underground. And Mo Tucker definitely had a very unique contribution, and we're going to talk about that. Most people know that she's synonymous for playing her bass drum, kind of turned, standing like the other drums. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Her first way that she used to play was just the conventional style, and we're going to talk about a few of the songs on the first album that she used the conventional style of playing. Mallets are going to be a very important part of your setup if you're trying to emulate Mo as well as brushes and of course the tambourine yes on songs like pale blue eyes she's just playing tambourine on beat two and four but i can't think of that song being played any other way to start out let's talk about the song femme fatale where she actually plays tambourine with a stick and brushes with the snare drum I'm gonna use a mallet because I like the way that that sounds on this particular tambourine better, but it's gonna go like this. And Mo, of course, could do more than just play a straight ahead groove. She also could swing, and you can hear this really cool shuffle rhythm on Run, 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 where she's actually playing ghosts on the side of the snare doing the shuffle pattern, and then accenting in the middle of the snare with her other hand using sticks. This next tune is definitely played on her setup with the bass drum flipped on its side, but I find it a little bit easier to play just in the conventional setting, but it's one of my favorite Velvet Underground songs, actually. It's called The Murder Mystery, and it's just got a really cool psychedelic tribal beat that goes into this completely different Latin rock feel, and it's going to sound a little bit something like this. So when Mo Tucker decided to switch her drum setup, that was completely her own idea. She just thought that she was able to contribute to the sound a lot easier that way, a lot easier to keep time, and of course she was starting to become more influenced by African rhythms. Now one of my favorite songs with this particular configuration is the song Heroin, where she actually increases in tempo during the climaxes of 
Lou Reed's lyrics, but she increases the tempo very, very consistently throughout the song. And I've just never heard anyone play like this before. Also in the original recording of the song Heroin, there's a part where the drums drop out. You see it got so loud in the studio that Mo couldn't hear where she was in the song, where anyone was in the song, and so she stopped playing, thinking that everyone else would stop playing, but Lou Reed just kind of smirked at her and began again with the words and she was able to find her place again. And that was the take that they used. And it's just one of those things that even though it wasn't intentional, it's just such an integral part of the song and it just adds to the music. It happened in the moment and it's just beautiful. And another thing that's beautiful is Mo Tucker's singing voice. And one of the songs that she sings on happens to be one of the Velvet Underground's most notable tune and it happens to be the song After Hours. A one, two, three, if you close the door the night could last forever Leave the sun shine out And say hello to never All the people are dancing and having such fun I wish that would happen to me But if you close the door I'll never have to see the day again and there you have it, just a quick demonstration on the drumming style of Mo Tucker from The Velvet Underground. Like I said, one of the most influential bands to come out of the 60s, and they were also incredibly way ahead of their time. But not necessarily in a futuristic sense, but in the sense that there are bedroom pop bands and indie bands that are using a lot of the same styles and techniques and sounds that The Velvet Underground was doing way back then. So. Please give this video a like for Mo Tucker and be sure to subscribe for more exposés on drummers that just don't get enough love or recognition. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.